let us apply de Moivre's theorem to find all the fourth root of unity. So we want to solve the equation z to the power 4 equal to 1 by using de Moivre's theorem. First step, let's apply modulus on both sides. Z modulus of z to the power 4 equal to 1. Now that can be written as mod z to the power 4 equal to 1. That can be written as mod z to the power 4 equal to 1. That gives us mod z being a positive real number or 0 mod z equal to 1. Now let us express the complex number in polar form z equal to so let us write let z equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta where r denotes modulus of the complex number here r equal to 1 so that imply z equal to cos theta plus i sin theta Therefore, z to the power 4 equal to cos theta plus i sin theta to the power 4. Therefore, z to the power 4 equal to cos theta plus i sin theta to the power 4. De Moivre's theorem has an advantage that we can simply multiply power with the angle. So, we get cos 4 theta plus i sin 4 theta. But, by equation 1, we are given z to the power 4 equal to 1. But, by equation 1, we are given z to the power 4 equal to 1. So, we can write this equal to 1. Now, 1 can be written as cos 0 degree plus n into 360 degree plus i sin. Well, why should I write 0? I can simply write sin n into 360 degree. Therefore, cos 4 theta plus i sin 4 theta therefore cos 4 theta plus i sin 4 theta equal to cos n into 360 degree plus i sin n into 360 degree. Now, if two complex numbers are equal, then their real part must be equal. Further, imaginary part must be equal. Therefore, 4 theta must cos 4 theta equal to cos n into 360 degree cos 4 theta equal to cos n into 360 degree. So, 4 theta equal to n into 360 degree. What are n here? n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So, theta equal to, you can cancel 4 out. So, n into 90 degree. Therefore, z equal to cos theta, r is 1. So, cos theta plus i sin theta that is equal to cos 90 degree if you take n equal to 1 plus i sin 90 degree for n equal to 1 z equal to cos 90 degree is 0 sin 90 degree is 1 equal to i that is 1 fourth root of unity. Again, for n equal to 2, z equal to cos 
2 into 90 degree is 180 degree plus I sine 180 degree. Cos 180 degrees minus 1, sine 180 degrees 0, so that's equal to minus 1. So that is another fourth root of unity. Now for n equal to 3, z equal to cos, when I take n equal to 3, 3 into 90 degrees is 270 degree, cos 270 degree plus I sine 270 degree, that is equal to, uh, it is in third quadrant, so cos 270 degree is same as cos 90 degree, that is 0, sine 270 degree is minus of sine 90 degree, so minus I. Lastly, for n equal to 4, For n equal to 4, z equal to cos 4 into 90 degree, that is cos 360 degree plus I sine 360 degree. That gives us simply 1. So, what are the fourth root of unity? First case we got i, second one minus 1, third one minus i, fourth one 1. So, 1 minus 1, i minus i, these are the fourth root of unity which we have computed using de Moivre's theorem.